and I've had my eye on this. I pre-ordered this. I just hit the camera. Hello everybody, my name is Kelsey and we're about to get very very nerdy with some sequels and series continuations that I would like to read in 2021. Last week you will have seen the video where I talked about all of the kind of standalones that I want to read next year. There was a couple in there that were technically the start of a new series, but I'm gonna count them in that one. But today we're gonna be talking about 12 books that are series continuations or sequels to books that I have loved and I want to continue and I really really need to read the sequels very very soon and I just haven't yet. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. Are the sequels. The first one is gonna be one that I can't believe is on yet another list because it's been on how many lists now? And that is Soul of Stars by Ashley Poston. This is the sequel to Heart of Iron. I was just trying to see if I could reach it but it's a little too high. So I read Heart of Iron uh 2019 I want to say and absolutely loved it. It's kind of like a sci-fi retelling of Anastasia. And this is the sequel slash finale. There's only two books in the series. I've had my eye on this forever. I pre-ordered it so I would have it to read and it's been an entire year and a half later. I still have not read it so I'm dear everything that is holy. I hope that I read this in 2021 because it's been on too many lists and I just need to finish this series. I completed a series in 2020 but I still haven't read this one because that makes sense. But yeah so sci-fi retelling of Anastasia part two to that story. I just, I just, I really need to do it. I really need to do it. The next one is more of a companion rather than an actual sequel, but it makes sense to me. And that is My Calamity Jane by the Lady Janies, which are Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This is part of their Lady Janies series. This is the finale in that, where they do kind of like humorous retellings of specific Janes in the history. And this one follows Calamity Jane, who is part of like the Wild West, and I don't usually like stories about the Wild West, but I love this author trio and I love the books that they have written together, so I will do anything for them. And they're also coming out with a kind of similar series, but with Marie's. And I would like to finish this one before that one comes out, and I believe that one comes out in June of 2021. I might be wrong on that. I would like to finish this series up before I start their Marie series. I'm excited to see what this one's about. I may not get all of the Wild Westness of it, but I will get their humor and th these are very well researched and I love them so that is one that I also would like to read next year before their next book comes out. The next two were part of the same series but I'm excited so I'm gonna do them together and that is four and five of the Wayward Children series by Shauna McGuire. Number four being In an Absent Dream and number five being Come a Tumbling Down. The sixth one in the series is coming out in January so I would like to continue with the series so I'm caught up for when the sixth one comes out. I love this series. These are just very short, fun novellas that revolve around children who basically go through portals, kind of like Alice in Wonderland, and some of them get stuck back in the ordinary, regular, our kind of day, and some of them go back to their original stories and some of them don't. And so depending on which book is in the series, some of them are set in the wayward home where these children are staying, some of them are in the actual worlds where they are. So In the Absent Dream follows a new character in her world, and then the fifth one, Come Tumbling Down, follows Jack and Jill after the events of the very first book, um, which is Every Heart a Doorway, and the, they're some of my favorite characters, so I'm excited for that one. And so yeah, those are two on this list because I freaking love this series and I would like to finish it before I can get to the sixth one which is coming out very very soon. The next one is the sequel to Outlander, Dragonfly and Amber ooh, by Diana Gabaldon. These are very large books. I have all of them I think. I have up to eight and I really want to say that's all that's out. I know there's a ninth one but I don't know if it's out or not. But I've only read the first one and I would like to continue with this series. They are very chunky books. The writing is freaking tiny, um, but I loved the first one so I would like to continue with this series and this is just the sequel, but it's basically like a historical fiction book with a little bit of a sci-fi element. In the first one we follow our main character Claire who is 
reuniting with her husband after the war in the 1900s, I want to say, 1945. And then due to some interesting time travel things, she accidentally goes back in time to Scotland in the exact same place in 1743 and it's her adventures there. And so this just continues on with that story. I consider it more of a historical fiction than a sci-fi, but I think we're going to get more sci-fi elements in the second one and then continue on, continuing on with the series as well. But I would like to continue because I have all of them and I've only read the first one. So would like to get to that one too. The next two I'm going to do together because they're kind of part of the same series and also the reasonings are the same. And that is These Two Books by Sandia Menon. There's something about Sweetie and Ten Things I Hate About Pinky. These are both companion novels to When Dimple Met Rishi, which I absolutely loved that book. And these are just the next one. I believe this one follows the brother of the main male character in the first book, Rishi, um, and his you know, romance story. And then I honestly do not know how this one and how Pinky connects to the story, but I think she shows up in this one. But I've had, I'm just collecting Zendaya Menon books because I love her writing style and I love her stories, but I've literally only read one in the Dimpleverse. And so I need to read the other two because I just keep collecting them without reading them. But these are both companions to When Dimple Met Rishi. So I would really like to get to these in 2020, 2021 as well. Wow, I tried to make that 2022. Honestly, like I said, I don't really know a whole lot about this one. I believe this one involves some kind of like fake dating situation. And this one is about proving your parents wrong and dating the girl that you want or something like that. And I don't, they just, they just sound cute. And I really like her writing style. So more contemporary YA romance sounds good to me. All right, the next one is A Rogue of One's Own by Evie Dunmore. This is also a companion to Bringing Down the Duke, which I read earlier this year and absolutely loved. This is a companion novel. It follows a few characters from the first book, but I really want to say timeline wise, this takes place before the first book. Either way, I love her writing style. This basically is a historical fiction romance, but it revolves around the suffragette movement. And I'm not entirely sure what, I don't remember exactly what this one specifically is about, it does follow some characters from the first book and I believe their love story when they don't want a love story and it just sounds great and I love her writing and I'm there for it. The next two I don't own um but they are the sequels to Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is the first in the famous files but they are book two which is Waking Gods and book three which is Only Human. I need to get my hands on them but I loved this book so much and they're all very small. They're all told in kind of file formats, but there was a huge cliffhanger at the beginning of, or the end of Sleeping Giants. So I really need to continue with this series. So it's a sci-fi story that kind of revolves around these big metal giants and the discovery of them and kind of what that means for the world. And I loved every second of it. So I need to get the sequels of this, but those are two more books that I would like to read. And basically in the exact same vein as that one um, are the sequels to Ink, which are Spark and Scar. I read Ink in October and loved it. And so I'd like to get my hands on the sequels of this one. Again, these are very small books, but the story is fascinating. It's about a community where you basically get ink on your skin, your life story. And then when you die, your skin basically gets taken off, created into this skin book and weighed on whether you are a good person or a bad person based on the types of tattoos you have and it follows our main character whose father has just died at the beginning of this book and kind of the the stories that revolve around him because there are some there are some tattoos that he has that are questionable and so that starts our main character down an entire path but it's very kind of like dystopian but set in a fairy tale fantasy world. It's very fascinating but I adored the first book and I would like to get my hands on it two and three so I can finish out this trilogy. So those are all of the sequels and series continuations that I would like to read in 2021. There's a few that have been on here for many many years looking at you solo stars and I just I really need to get around to it. So those are the books that I'm hoping to read next year. Fingers crossed that I can get those done. 
we can all hope. But that's really all I have for you guys today. Please let me know if you've read any of the books that I've mentioned or if there's any specific sequels or series continuations that you would like to read next year. I would love to know your thoughts on those and kind of what you're looking forward to reading in 2021. But if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to be part of this awesome growing family. I've also got all my social media down there if you want to follow along on any of those. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!